Hello everyone, welcome to week three of Management 422. This week we are going to be covering the topic of job performance. So our task is to define job performance and what it means to be a good performer or a poor performer in the workplace. Um, this may end up being a more complex topic than you thought because there are going to be different types of job performance and we are going to dive into each of these uh, more specifically. In addition to defining job performance, we are also going to identify some methods for evaluating job performance. So there are five different methods that we will use to assess whether or not an employee is uh, performing as we would expect them to. So in organizational behavior, there are actually two outcomes that we care most about. These are the outcomes that um, are really important for organizations. One is job performance, which we're covering this week, and the other is organizational commitment, which we're going to cover next week. So essentially, as an organization, we want to know, are our employees performing and are they going to stay? So our task is to figure out how do we get our employees to perform? How do we get our employees to stay with our organization? So again, this week we're gonna be covering job performance in detail. Next week, we're gonna be covering organizational commitment in detail. And then after that, we're gonna be moving um, into different factors that predict each of these two outcomes. So the structure is that we focus on uh, giving you a good foundation of what these outcomes are and how they're defined and then we spend the rest of the course looking at different factors like <clears throat> job satisfaction or personality or motivation and how each of these then predicts those outcomes we care about. So this week's learning activities, there are only two. Um, after you read the textbook chapter and after you complete the course module, then you will need to complete your content quiz. So there's a quiz on chapter two and then there's another discussion post. As with last week, you need to ensure that your main discussion post is submitted by Friday at 11.59 p.m. and that um, your responses to your classmates' posts are submitted by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And uh, I've really enjoyed getting to read your posts and your assignments so far. And I look forward to having more opportunities to interact with you as we continue throughout the semester. So have a great week. Have a productive week. And I uh, look forward to being in touch. Take care, everyone. Bye.